on this episode of The Facts of Beer. We get the facts on Hennepin, a farmhouse season from Brewery Omegong. Hennepin is a product of the Brewery Omegong out of Cooperstown, New York. At best, it was very difficult to determine a color for Hennepin. This brew creates such a solid head with its perpetual bubbliness that it took literally three hours for the foam to dissipate off the top of my testing beaker so I could even see the beer itself. The difference is shown here. After comparing the two BeerColor.com scales to Hennepin, the color is a 6.5 in degrees Lovabond, which makes it a deep gold beer. The Hennepin website is very unique, with plenty of info about the brewery and the many Omegong beers, and they are very active on social media sites. With 7.7% alcohol by volume, Hennepin is noted as a farmhouse season. Check it out at omegong.com. This is an amazingly complex brew that bold foods would overpower. Instead, enjoy this with light crusty breads or a mild risotto. Hennepin starts with a lemony aroma and is immediately refreshing. The middle is bitingly sharp, a lightly spicy crispness strikes with whispers of hops and orange. It ends with a stroke of coriander, then trails away into the sour rind of white grapefruit. Brilliant, if you enjoy sour. And now the final facts on Hennepin. The packaging has a reflective lavender color with small yellow print which you can barely read. The type of brew is a farmhouse season. Alcohol by volume, 7.7% which adds a smile. The color is 6.5 in degrees Lovabond and that makes it a deep gold beer. Taste is lemony refreshing to start. The middle is spicy, orangey, and hoppy. It ends with a stroke of coriander mixed with a grapefruit sour. It's brilliant. Priced at $10.99 a four-pack, a 12-ounce bottle is an expensive $2.75. Final rating, I only give it four out of five caps. It's just too expensive for a daily drinker, but I would buy a four-pack to share some of the brilliance with my friends. Be sure to check out my webpage, factsofbeer.com. And if there's a beer you'd like to try, but you want some more facts first, then send me an email at factsofbeer at gmail.com. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out all the episodes of The Facts of Beer.